Hey everybody, Alan Orker here for Cast King. Uh, today I have our new Cadet Spin Cast Reel. Brand new reel, uh, great price, and awesome reel for uh, young people or kids, maybe somebody who's just getting started in fishing. Now when you first buy this reel, it's gonna come pre-spooled with monofilament line. So there's no need to uh, add your own line to it. But as time goes on, you may find a, a need to add more line. Maybe you've used a lot of it, or maybe you think there's some nicks or abrasions. Uh, and it's time to put on some new lines. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to do that. There's only a couple things you're gonna need. Uh, obviously the reel, you're gonna need something to cut the line with. In this case, I use a small pair of scissors and your new line. And in this case, I'm using our uh, Casking Copolymer line uh, in 10 pounds. And I have a spool of that here. So to begin with, we gotta get rid of the old line, right? So. Uh, how do I get that off? Well, the easy way is I'm simply going to depress the casting button right here on the back of the reel, and I'm going to start pulling line out. And as I do that, I'm going to get rid of all that old line. Now, it'll depending on how much line is on the reel, that may take a little bit uh, of time. So you just keep pulling that line out, uh, and you keep going, keep going, keep going, until you get all that line off. Once you've done that, uh, now I'm going to show you how to put on the new line. Okay, so now I've got all that old line off. Uh, it's ready to be disposed of. What you, one thing, uh, please make sure that we don't just throw this into the water, we don't leave it laying on the bank. Uh, dispose of it proper. We need to take care of our environment so that our kids and our grandkids all have the opportunity to come out here and enjoy a beautiful place. So make sure you dispose of that properly. And I'll do that in a minute. Okay, now that we've got all that line off, it's time to put on the new line. First thing we need to do is remove this nose cone, all right? Very easy to do. We're just gonna turn it clockwise, about an eighth of a turn, nose cone comes right off, and we've exposed the spool. Now, one thing important to remember uh, on a spin cast reel, uh, and the Cadet is a good example of this, and you notice right here, there's two pickup pins. That's really important. Some reels only have one pickup pin, and they're not nearly as efficient. Um, after you have line on here, you've made a cast, and you start to reel back in. If there's only one pickup pin, it takes longer for that reel spool to grab the line and start that retrieve. So uh, always look for a reel that has dual pickup pins. Okay, so now we have our, uh, uh, our nose cone off. We're ready to put on the new line. I'm just gonna set that reel down for just a second, and I'm gonna grab our new line. In this case, I'm using the Cascane Copolymer uh, line. Great line for all kinds of different fishing. Um, this happens to be 10 pound rated line. So I'm just gonna kind of take off a little bit of line just like that and I'll set it down so we're ready to go once I get it spooled. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, <clears throat> and it's always best to spool a reel when it's on a rod. It gives you something to hold on to. But I don't want to just start spooling it uh, without going through a guide. So I'm actually gonna run this line through the first guide just to begin with. That's a good way to get good direction going straight into the line or into the reel just like that. <clears throat> and um, we'll be ready to go. Okay, <clears throat> once we've done that, now, a lot of people make this mistake, and this is a simple one, but we don't wanna just tie right onto our spool right now. First thing we have to do is we have to run it through that hole in the nose cone. If we don't do that, and if we just tie it right on to the spool right now, and that line is coming in, there's no way to get the nose cone onto the front of the reel. So make sure you start by just running that line right through that nose cone, just like that. And I'll set that nose cone down. Now, how do I attach that? Real simple way. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just tie uh, a very simple overhand knot, okay? just like this, little overhand knot, just like that, okay? Now, what that's gonna do, that's gonna give us a stopping point so that when we tie our slip knot, it's gonna come right down to that point. I'm just gonna trim off that tag end so that that overhand knot is very close to the end. Now, how do I tie an overhand knot or a slip knot? Well, the, the slip knot is tied just like that overhand knot, except we're just gonna tie it around that other piece of line, just like this. And we're gonna pull that through. So it's gonna look like that. And as I pull this tight, now we have a big loop and a tag end. 
it comes out like that. This big loop is going to just slide over the top of our spool and we're going to pull that down tight. See how that's coming down tight? And it's going to stop right at that first overhand knot that I tied. Okay, now we're ready to put our uh, nose cone back on. We'll just pull that line up like this and just like we did before except the opposite direction the nose cone slides on just like this one eighth of a turn to the left it's locked in place and i'm ready to start spooling my line now i need tension if you don't have tension on your spool uh, or on the line when you wind it in it's not going to go on correctly so what i like to do is i just like to kind of pinch that line between my fingers like this and now I'm going to start spooling that line and there it's going on really nice I've just put a little bit of tension not too tight it's coming off the spool it's sitting on the ground there and I'm just going to keep winding this now this reel is going to hold about 75 yards or so of um, uh, this 10 pound cold polymer so I'm just going to keep winding and winding and winding and winding and winding and winding now what I'm going to do at some point here is I'm going to test it okay I'm gonna check and make sure that I've got enough line and not too much line because you don't want to overfill your spool either so we're just gonna wind this now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take that little nose cone off and I'm gonna peek in there and check oh I still have room I can put on more line spin cast reels are a little more difficult because you can't see how uh, full the spool is all right whereas a spinning reel or a uh, a regular bait casting reel it's real easy to tell when you've got enough line on it a spin cast reel you kind of have to peek in there and look all right so we're going to peek in there and check again just like that yep we got it okay so that's about 75 yards of line now all i'm going to do is i'm going to take my uh, scissors and uh, i can either cut that and store it the way it is or in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it down here a little bit further and then i'm going to continue to put the line all the way through the rest of the guides, tie on whatever uh, lure that I need, and I've got brand new great line on my new cadet spin cast reel. We're gonna take my granddaughter fishing, um, maybe both my granddaughters, both Allie and Carly. It's a perfect reel for them. They're gonna love this one. And uh, that's a simple process on how you go about putting new line on your cadet spin cast reel. I'm Al Norker for Casking. I uh, hope you learned something today, and I'll see you on the water really soon.